G'day guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now today, I'm going to be talking about a show that I absolutely love. Now being a single 23 year old, I absolutely love love. I can't get enough of it. I love when people talk about it. I love watching people fall in love. I love watching people make love. Don't check my internet history. Married at First Sight is back on our TV screens and it is just, it's absolutely mental, isn't it? Now it's been on for about six seasons and for years and years everyone was like, oh, they don't actually get married, what's the point in the show? It's some of the most entertaining stuff you'll ever see. I want to talk about some of the characters that are on this year's show. I'm going to kick it off with Maddie the Virgin. Oh, jeez, Doss, that's a little bit harsh to call someone that. Oh, it's not an insult. It's a fact. Now, if you watch the show every, every second, just label Matt. Matt the Virgin. Matthew the Virgin. Let's go find out what Matt the Virgin's doing. I'm Matthew. I'm 29. And I'm a... The Virgin. ...videographer editor. Good, pups. In my spare time, I like to read. I'm a... The Virgin vivacious reader. I read every day. I do have a surprise planned for my new wife. I'm a virgin. A virgin. A virgin. A vir 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 virgin. Yeah, guys, I'm 29. i um, from Queensland. I'm a videographer. Uh, you know, I haven't really had that much experience with girls. I haven't had much experience with girls. Um, how much? How much experience? Jeez. Oh, um, <laughs> You know, a couple of, couple of fleeting things with girls. What do you mean a couple of fleeting things with girls? Have you ever kissed one? Ah, uh, yeah, I've kissed, I've kissed one, uh, kissed, kissed one. You've kissed only one? Or have you, have you slept with one? Matthew, have you, have you honkied the donkey? Have you, have you peanut buttered the jam? Yeah, look, I don't know what that, that means, but no, I, I, I haven't slept with a girl. You know, I like to keep my private life private, so hopefully you guys don't make a big deal about it. Oh, don't you worry, Matt, we won't make a big deal about it. We might slip it in in the first episode. Um, hopefully you do too, if you know what I mean. You don't, you're a virgin. The wedding day is incredibly nerve-wracking. Imagine the nerves of getting married to someone you've never met in your life. And you just want like that first moment to be just so reassuring. Like you just want to know that they're a good person. Michael and Martha, for instance, their first, their first connection when they first met was just so reassuring. There was Cam and Jules who were happy when they both saw each other at the wedding day. That would be such a nerve squashing, reassuring thing. And then there was Paul Bronson who was standing there waiting for his beloved wife to walk down the aisle which she does when she gets to Bronson. The first thing she says is... I'm Bronson. Hi, Bronson. Can we get rid of your eyebrow ring, please? <laughs> uh, not very easily, no. She's very honest. That's, um... That is, that is not someone I'd like to date. <laughs> and I feel bad for Bronson being put with her. He just seems like the happiest, go-lucky type dude. He's in it for the good vibes, he's in it for the good times, and he's just got Innes ripping him a new one every day. Shut the f*** up. Shut the f*** up! Get me off the boat! Get me off the f***ing boat! Like, how, how could you put up with her? And it's so it's so aggressive the way she does it, just calls him out for his eyebrow piercing. Uh, there's no decorum in that at all. But she wasn't the only one who had an issue with her partner. Old Sammy, the big rig, the big man, the myth, called his wife fat. She's obviously not as, as slim as the girls have dated in the past. Yeah. She's a bit bigger. Yeah. Hopefully she's into, like, running a lot. I, you know what I'm like. You can't write this sort of stuff. He said he'll get her running. Bloody hell. There's a bald bloke called Mike, and he's just something else. <laughs> he just seems quite cocky, quite assured of himself, quite arrogant, to be honest. And on the beach on their honeymoon while Heidi was opening up to him, <laughs> she's pouring her heart out about her troubled childhood. Mike got bored of the conversation and cut her off. So she's decided it's time to open up about her past. Like, I moved out of home when I was still in high school and stuff. It's, it's great. just and me. I switch off when a person just keeps talking about the same thing from every angle. I'm not your therapist. This isn't therapy. My cat died. My nan left my grandpa for, 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 for granddad's best mate. Um, I got kicked out of home at 11. And I just feel like I'm a little bit stronger now after all that, that has happened to me. Are you still talking? Anyway guys, that was my um, passionate rant about Married at First Sight. There's plenty more episodes to come, so I can't wait to dig in and enjoy, um, enjoy the future episodes. I want to thank you guys for watching, I want to thank you guys for all of the support, and I'll see you all very, very soon. Cheers.